Hi, my brothers in Christ. This is Jonathan. This is Man Up uh, for Christ. And so these last couple sessions, we've been talking about um, teaching your family the Word of God. And then last week, we talked about living out the Word of God uh, and encouraging your family to live out the Word of God. So in other words, don't just be hearers of the Word, but be doers of the Word. Obey it. Live it out. Be more like Christ. And so today we're going to be talking about something that maybe this this uh, word of encouragement might come to a, be a little bit of shock to you. But we're going to clarify this in a few minutes as we show a short video by Matt Chandler. But today's word for this week and for the for ongoing uh, as well uh, in your life is to go to bed exhausted. Now that might seem crazy to say. But this is your word for the day. Check your priorities and go to bed exhausted. So let's look at some scriptures. First Timothy 5.18. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. First Timothy 3.2. An overseer then must be above reproach. The husband of one wife, temperate, prudent, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Now, this is talking about an eldership, but also it should also be a great example for men, uh, all men. First Thess Thessalonians 4, 11 through 12. And to aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we instructed you so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. So we see that we're supposed to be hard workers and providing for our families, but not only with the, 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 the labor of our hands, but also with our time and our wisdom. Ephesians 6, 4, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Teach your children. Ephesians 5, 25 through 30, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the, the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as his own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one has ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it. But as Christ does the church, just as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. So we're seeing there these two, two beautiful uh, scenarios. We're seeing how we are supposed to love uh our wives as Christ loves the church and how much did he love the church? He died for, for her. And we're seeing that our responsibility is to teach her and to, to help her in her sanctification. And then we also see this beautiful responsibility to the church too, that we are the church. And so we should be uh, loving our church and be a part of our church. It's, this should be a part of it. We see how much Christ loves the church and we love Christ. And we want to be, we want to love his church just as much as he does as well. So this is this beautiful, just all comes together. And then Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, do your work heart heartedly as for the Lord rather than for men. And so all these things, the work of your hands, provide for your family, and, and also the, the way that you teach your children, the way you, your, you take time for your children, the way that you love your wife, the way that you love the church, the way that you uh, are are uh, helping and sanctifying your wife and, and teaching your wife and the way that you're involved in your church, all these kind of things that you, you do it with all your heart and you do it to glorify God rather than for yourself or for men. So let's look at this quick video um, by Matt Chandler. Like why are men going to bed these days with so much energy? That's not what God designed you for. God designed you to go to bed tired. Why are you going to bed so strong? We work hard at work for the glory of God. We pull into our driveway. We say a prayer. We go into the house. We love and serve mama. 
because the Bible is put on our shoulders by the Holy Spirit of God that our wives would look like well-watered vines, that they would grow in their gifting, that they would feel cherished and loved. Then we get on the floor and we play with our kids and we tuck them in bed and we pray and we lead out spiritually in our homes. And then when everybody's down, we sit with mama some more, check on her heart, pray, and then go to bed exhausted, wrung out for the kingdom of God. And there's no room in there for dumb stuff that jams men up. So I get provoked for men who refuse to step into this. I feel grief for you. I want more for you, and I want more for your wives and more for your children. Everything works right when men are being men instead of boys who can shave. Oh, that we would grow into what God... Man, we're going to stumble. It's hard. God meant it to be hard. That's how much he loves you. He's going to make sure you couldn't do it on your own. We have to have our priorities in check. We put our, we put our sports before our family and our responsibilities. We put our... our, we put our uh, our priorities of, um, well, I need my quiet time. I need my alone time. I need my relaxed time. And so we, we, we put that as a priority over teaching our children, spending time with our children, loving our wives, spending time with our wives, teaching our wives. We put it over um, being involved in our church and loving our church and being a part of that church. And we, we, we put it before Bible studies. We put it before church activities. We'll, we'll see that churches around the world that are facing persecution will do go to great lengths in order to be a part of the body um, and, and be with the church. Um, and yet we will say, well, we need our relaxed time. We need to, to relax a little bit. We I'm, I've been real busy today and I can't go to church today. I can't read the Bible with my wife. I can't study with my children. I can't spend that quality of time. It's all excuses and we need to put it in check and we need to go to bed exhausted. We work hard each day to provide for our families. We come home, we love our families, we teach our families, and we study the word. We put ourselves in check and make sure we're right with God, and then we go to bed exhausted. And so this is the call of, of men, to work hard, love our families, teach our families, live out the word of God, and then go out, preach the gospel, evangelize, be a man of integrity, and then go to bed exhausted. Because at the end of the day, we're not living for this life. We're living for eternity. I hope this was a blessing to you. So remember, get your priorities in check. Go to bed exhausted. See you next time. Grace and peace.